everyone. Good to see you again. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy and not too bored. I'm hoping to give you a little respite from th that and um, this can be our little escape from reality and we can just chat about makeup, which I love to do. It does give me a little, a little, I don't know, an escape, um, a chance to feel like a princess, you know, and pamper myself. And I love talking to all of you about makeup. And I'm here with my Sephora haul. Um, I am a Rouge member, so I was able to get in um, on the 20% off. So, of course, that made me want to buy a lot of stuff. So I'm going to share with you. I have opened some of them because I just couldn't wait to try them. One of them was um, Dior. It's a Air Flash um, foundation. Um, it's spray foundation, water resistant, 12 hour wear. I'll have to let you know, today's the first time I'm using it. It went on really cool. Um, it does spray. It's a spray on, so I tried it both ways. You can either spray it on your face and pat it around with a brush, or you can spread it, uh, spray it directly on the brush and put it on. So I tried it both ways. Um, I think I'm more comfortable with putting it on with a brush, um, just because, I don't know. I, I don't think that I have the talent to spray it on nice, <laughs> so. Um, Anyway, so I did try it both ways, and I really, really like it. Um, I had decided to get it off the recommendation of Erin Nicole, who's another um, influencer that I watch, and um, she really loves it, so I thought, what the heck, I'll give it a try. And with summer coming, I get a lot sweatier, you know, being out when it's hot. So I figured if it's, you know, water resistant and 12 hour wear, you know, maybe it'll be good for the summer. And it's super light. Um, I mean, it just feels like your natural skin. It's just wonderful. I love it. So that was one that I opened and used. The other one is the... Um, the Fenty Beauty matchstick. Uh, it is a crane bronzer. This is in Mocha. And so I wanted to give that a try. I haven't tried any cream bronzers. Um, and I've seen this recommended a few times by different influencers. So I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I have to play with it a little more, I would say. I had put it on... Um, they say just to draw a line, so I did. And then I used a brush to kind of buff it around. It took a little while to blend um, out, but I think otherwise it, it looks great. Um, I did end up putting um, some of my Butter Bronzer on as well and up in the forehead and everything. Um, so I did use both, but um, I will continue to play with that and we'll see where we get with that. Uh, I had been wanting to try the Tatcha. You see, I opened it. <laughs> it is the Kiss You Lip Mask, and it comes with its own little spatula, so that's really cool. Um, I tried that last night, and I have to say I do like it better than the Laneige. It's not as um, sticky. Um, it stays uh, better, I think, on my lips. I felt like it stayed there and moisturized um, well into the night. I usually get up once in the middle of the night to use the restroom. So um, my lips still felt like they were moisturized and everything. So I really enjoyed that. So another thing I opened was the new Natasha Denona. A mini retro palette and I did use that on my eyes today I just kind of did a light makeup today um, so her colors just blend so nice and I really love every single color let me open it up so you can see it a little bit better I love every single color that's on here just beautiful 
And so that's that. And then I did get um, the YSL. Um, it's called Touche Eclat 3D All Over Glow um, in Universal. And it's basically like a finishing powder. Um, so it's kind of a highlighter. There it is. I'll put it a little bit on my hand. I don't know if you can see it or not. It does have a little bit of a shine um, on it. I don't know. It's, I'm having a hard time picking it up on the camera, I think. But um, maybe, oh, maybe there you can see it a little bit. Sorry, <laughs> but, um, and I didn't use it all over. I just kind of used it as I would a highlighter. Um, and then I did, um, it didn't give me quite as much highlight as I wanted. So I did end up using, um, the Laura Mercier highlighter that I have, um, to go over it. Um, but it was really pretty. I will try it eventually all over my face. I wasn't sure how shiny it would be. Um, but it wasn't really. So yeah, that's really good. And... I got the new Tatcha Dewy Cream, Dewy Skin Cream. Um, it's an ultra hydrating and anti-aging replenishing Japanese purple rice. Um, it's a highly recommended um, as far as people who need hydration. And I am dry, normal to dry. Um, ooh, it comes out in a little pretty box here. And just like with all of her other creams, it comes with its own little spatula. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. I do want to finish one moisturizer before I open this, so I'm not going to open it yet. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that because my problem is usually dryness. And... I got, this was recommended, and I can't remember who recommended this, but this is Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Pore Perfecting and Refining Serum. You know, I think I saw this on one of Sephora's um, YouTube videos um, for anti-aging and that. So that's what that looks like. So I'm anxious to try that. It's a little serum. A little thick, but not as thick as an oil. And I'm going to try and read this for you, but I have to put my glasses on. <laughs> uh, yeah, Miss Over 50, right? Um, for AM and PM use, apply an all-over treatment on clean, dry skin. For best results, follow with a moisturizer of your choice. From Dennis Gross, but I mean, whatever moisturizer you use. So I'm looking forward to trying that because I don't know if you can notice or not. I do have some pores that show um, mostly in this area, you know, the nose. Um, not They're not horrible by any means, but I thought I'll give it a try. I need anti-aging, right? <laughs> And then I got, and I did open this box just because I was excited to see it. But this is the Cheek Stars Reunion Tour from Benefit. I guess they come out with a new one every year. I did not know that. Um, I'd never looked at their face palettes before. So there we have a good... Um, what do I want to say? Assortment <laughs> of face um, products. You've got your highlighter, blush, um, a couple. This one you could use as a blush, I'm sure. Um, and then some bronzers. This is the Hula, I guess they're very known for. I've never tried the Hula. Um, so I'm excited to try that. I don't have a whole lot of face palettes, so it's it's nice to um, try a new one. And then I'm trying to look. Oh, what I forgot in my bathroom. I did get the um, Green Clean Cleansing Balm from Pharmacy. 
So I'm anxious to try that. And then I did get the, um, and I opened this because I had to see it, the um, poolside, or is it, no, it's called Pool Party um, collection from Sephora. And you get a full size Tarte um, waterproof mascara. It's called Lights, Camera, Splashes. So that'll be nice for the summer. And you get the Way Travel Size Wave Spray. Um, so I'm excited to try that. And you get a Bum Bum Cream. It's a nice cream to try. And you get, oh, this is good. Um, Patrick Taz, it's called Major Glow Body Glow. We're gonna have to, it has a little pump out here. Ooh. So that's how it comes out. And you just rub it around. It's got a nice scent to it. Not real heavy, but it kind of tiny bit of a bronzy glow there. It soaks right in. Very nice. Let's see how it looks on my age spots, huh? <laughs> There, I put it on my my arm there. Well, don't know that they look any better, but they look moisturized at least. <laughs> All right, so that's from Patrick Ty again. Um, and this is what I was excited about. This is the um, Jouer Cosmetics. It is uh, a mini highlighter. And I've not tried any products from Jouer, so I'm anxious to try that. So we get that mini. We have a Super Goop Sunscreen SPF 40. So that'll be fun to try. We have a Sugar Rose Fresh, it's called. And this is a tinted lip treatment. If I can open it. Oh, there we go. So it looks like it's just a, yeah, it's like a tinted balm. So I just put a little bit on, it's a nice pink. It looks like it come out red, but it's pink. So that'll be fun to try. Uh, and then you get uh, what is this? Oh, this is a Sephora collection. Uh, lipstick, full-size lipstick. Can I open it? I don't know. I'm trying to open it. There we go. Got the plastic off. It's a really cool lipstick case. Oop, pop, goes the weasel. And there's that one. It's color 36. Yeah. Ooh, a little darker pink. It goes on nice and smooth. That'll be fun to try if I want a darker. You could always put a lighter lip gloss over it and um, that would look just fine. It would look really good. And Last but not least, I um, unpacked this because I just wanted to take a peek. Uh, this is the Drunk Elephant Minis mini kit. And there's a ton of great stuff in here. Oh, I know, it's just a ton. So, oh, it gives you a little pamphlet of the different products. 
and we have um, this is the jelly cleanser so that will be fun to try I've not tried their cleanser we have a B Hydra intensive hydration serum to try we have um, the virgin marula oil to try I'm going to have to pull my glasses back on, I swear. I know. I should have researched this better. I wouldn't have to have the glasses out. <laughs> oh, well. I have to say, I haven't been real energetic lately. Um, Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30 and it's 20% zinc oxide. And we have the Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. I've been looking for a, a glycolic. I've been using a retinol for a while, um, so it'll be fun to try a glycolic and see how it is. And this is the Proteini, and this is something I've wanted to try from them. The Proteini Polypeptide Cream. It's supposed to be very good for anti-aging, wrinkles, fine lines so I'm excited to try that I've been wanting to try that uh, C Tango multivitamin eye cream and C Firma day serum 15% uh, L ascorbic acid pumpkin ferment extract so all of those are really cool. So I'm excited to try those. Um, I will, because I didn't look it up before I started filming, um, I will print below or put below in the description what um, products I just talked about and their prices. And um, the I'll put a link to the Sephora on there so you can give them a try if you choose. They're all really great stuff. Um, I'm hoping I don't get the urge to order more. I might. I don't know. I've been really bad lately. I don't know if any of you have. And um, I just want to say, you know, putting these out there and showing them to you is no way um, I want to pressure you to buy when you're not buying right now. I totally understand that. But you can at least make a list of things that you might be interested in in the future um, when things are better. So, and I just like talking about makeup and sharing. And if you want to leave me any um, comments or um, information or tips or anything like that, please leave me some comments. I would love to read them. And of course, I would love a thumbs up and a subscribe would be great too. And until next time, you know the words. Ciao, Bella.